Hello, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Industrial Revelation by Jamie D. Grant. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe or do that afterwards if you like and you want to subscribe to it and check out onlinemagic.co. That indeed is my uh, very large, very joyous online magic membership. But not just any membership, 900 plus videos, 160 live sessions, many with special guests, all uploaded, courses on rope magic, rubber band magic, coin magic, loads of mentalism on there and loads of card stuff and, uh, and some theory as well, loads of theory. So onlinemagic.co, please have a look at that. Um, I will talk about this in a different video, but thank you all, the, all of you that came to my lecture in Blackpool. I was very nervous. It was a brand new thing for me. It was a talk with a PowerPoint and everything, and I stuck to the time, which is amazing. Um, and your feedback has been wonderful. So thank you so, so much for that. Uh, I think that's it. And check out Instagram at Steve Faulkner podcast, Steve Faulkner's Magic Show. Let's get on with it. Industrial Revelation by Jamie D. Grant. I'm glad this has come out because it was out a very long time ago and I didn't get it because I didn't really have the funds to get it. It was one of those expensive tricks that everybody talked about, this idea of taking a big metal block out of a deck of cards after you've passed something through it. And I did have the original, well, probably not the original, there'll be historians going, no, there was one before that, but a version, the classic, you know, with a matchbox where you'd put a, a, a needle and a thread through a matchbox and they go, oh, whatever, and then you open the matchbox and there's a big brass, I think it was, block in there. I saw it when I was a teenager. Uh, in a magic shop and in Exeter, in a juggling shop actually, I think someone had it, and it just completely floored me. I just, it sort of kept me up at night. It disturbed me a little bit. Uh, and that's kind of the responses you get, which we'll talk about in a minute. My famous and very uh, catchy tagline. So this is the said block. Looks amazing, does what it says. There will be some details on this in a minute. The packaging this time is very important. Instead of going for a big pretty box, box. Vanish and Ink have, have put it in this with, you know, it comes with, with that around it. Yeah, that's great. But it is very important because they've got this padded box, which you are going to want to use. You don't want to be putting this just in your case wrapped up in a sock or something like that, which is the sort of thing I would do if it wasn't for this. That comes in there, keeps it all safe. And this, you can have a little, um, you don't get the cloth with it, but you can have a little thing in there for a cloth, which I think is very, very important too. So that's great. Really, really handy. The trick is easy, it's very powerful, and you can do it surrounded. There's no angle issues or anything like that. That's all the good stuff. And it is nearly all good stuff. It's actually, it is all good stuff, but there's stuff you need to know. One of them is that there have been a lot of people saying, oh, you can see the, where the thing has happened. So when you, after you've done it, you have to do a little thing, then you can hand it out and you can see that there's, there's a giveaway there. And that is because, as it says in the instructions, George goes through this. And I know what it's like, especially if you know the trick, you might say, I don't need to watch the instructions. But George goes through this and says, it's packaged with some oil to sort of keep it, you know, fresh. Not that you're going to eat it, but you know what I mean? You just use one of those glasses wipers that I've told you, and, and that gets rid of that. And you might have to do that a few times to get it, you know, into a situation where you're going to perform it. That's totally fine. And I've done that. If you, if, you know, after time it gets dirty, you can use a bit of white spirit or something like that. So as, as he says, there's 99% of problems aren't problems. They're things that you can sort out within a minute, especially after time, after you've had it for a long time. So do watch all of the download and read the PDF that you get with it. The pre preparation of it isn't, it's easy, but it's not for some of you going to be, if you're like me, be as quick as you think, because it looks very simple to do on the download and it is but it's worth knowing what it's going to feel like so when it comes it's quite loose okay and you're going to look at that and go, i'll never get away with that and you have to get it to a situation where they can't they can grab it and look at it and they're not going to discover anything to do that you need a screwdriver you don't actually use it as a screwdriver you use it as a kind of to put pressure on something to get it in the get the right tension and when you're doing it, when I was doing it, I thought, I'm going to break this. I mean, I was putting quite a lot of force on it. Again, not total, but it, I was really worried about breaking it. And I think you do have to be careful, but you are going to need to be a little bit bold with it to get it the right tension so things don't open up. And you know, I'm sure I'm allowed to say that. So there's that part of it. And there's also the, 
getting the thing ready it feel, once you've done that it can be quite tough you've got to kind of practice that it's knacky you know, again it's not like a sleight of hand you're going to practice for three weeks but getting used to using this is really important and with these sort of things it is pretty much self-working so we don't think we need to worry about that stuff and actually i've spent a bit of time with this just being able to get it ready quickly knowing exactly where i've got to put it to get it into the box to do the thing i wanted to do especially with the coin and a coins i'm using a 50p which is a bit thicker now when you're you do have to prepare a box for this and the box has got a slit in it it's got sleeve slits two slits in it so i was, I was messing around with an idea and again, very, very easy. You're gonna to have to be careful. You're gonna to have to use a very sharp knife, I think, to do it well. But what it doesn't say in the instructions, which I've found useful, which sounds like a long way to get around it, but I actually found it a lot easier, is you basically cut, you cut a slit here with, with the knife and you tie and you sort of peel it off and, and that's fine. It gives you all the measurements. For me, the measurements were slightly out, so have a look and I'd just do them yourself, that's fine. What I did, because when you cut this, you're gonna have like bits of, paper kind of rips of paper depending on the knife you've got and again when you get this ready to hand out you could pick up little bits that would give it away if you see what I mean they could get trapped so what I did in the end I peeled open the box of cards opened it right up did it really accurately closed it back up and glued it and what you can do with that if you want is you can create a slightly larger box where you can put a thicker coin through it and do it kind of makes it a little bit more versatile i think it's worth knowing if you've got this or you're going to get it that does not take long i think for a trick like this it's a bit of an investment it's over 100 quid or 100 quid or whatever so whatever dollars are i know what dollars are but whatever the thing is um so doing that little bit of of you know, prep isn't a problem. Yeah, it would have been lovely to have a box that, <laughs> that was already prepped, but it isn't. But, and, but it, again, you want to use your own box and you can use any box. Bicycle boxes are a bit easier because you'll be able to see where you're going to cut, but it's totally fine. This is a brilliant trick. I've just performed it three times. And the first time I didn't think they liked it. And then the sec and it's one of those tricks that doesn't get, I mean, I'm sure it will in a kind of, you know, more vibrant surrounding than people sitting in their office wanting to get on with their work or in the salon downstairs, but it, it gets that kind of dark, I call it, a lot of mentalism gets this as well. You do a centre turn, they're like, I don't like it. And they were like, just speechless, literally speechless, like I nearly was then. And afterwards, I was like, what do you think? And they were like, it's done my head in. I, you know, one of them, the people in there was like, I'm going to lose sleep over it. But they're completely blown away by it. They can't get their head around it. It's so unexpected that it kind of... It just messes with their brain. So when you do this, especially on some friends, if they're not in that party mood, you might get that kind of silent, almost disturbed response. So be careful where you put it. Don't put it at the end of your show because you're going to want, they're not going to go, yay, or maybe they will, but in certain situations. So I've just done it three times. You are going to, uh, everybody's handled the thing. No idea at all. And I, you know, I, I've tried this different presentation. I think just stick some of it and go have a look at that. <laughs> just, it's just brilliant. So great trick, really well made. It is really well made. I can't see any issues at all. Once you take in all of those things that, you know, they do go through on the, on the download. Interestingly, on the PDF, they have different magicians sharing, sharing their presentations. Like Andy Nyman's on there, it's brilliant. Uh, David Regal loves us, I'm not gonna go through them all. But it's really nice because it gives you different ways of presenting it. And even though what I said before, I think it is nice to have a little presentation with this, just to sort of flesh it out a little bit. Don't you have to put loads of meaning to it? It can be a little jokey thing about molecules and all that kind of thing. But I think it's nice to just, you know, take them down a path, get them in sort of semi-interested in some patter and then just go, Dum, there's the, the big metal block. Uh, brilliant and I think it will last a long time obviously I'm not that long so I can't you know vouch for that but I can't see any issue if you look after it and if you you know the, there's a whole pdf on care and maintenance so you should have no problems there and if you did vanish link are great about that sort of thing anyway so that is um, Jamie D Grant's industrial revelation I never had the original so I can't compare it but I think it's great and I think you'll have loads of fun with it if you get it uh, thank you very much. My name is Steve Faulkner. Have a look at onlinemagic.co uh, and my Instagram is at Steve Faulkner. Have a look at my stories on there where I waffle on about all sorts of things and like and subscribe and Steve Faulkner's Magic Show podcast and more to come. Thanks very much. Take care.